For the first time in two decades, vinyl is predicted to become a billion dollar industry. And spinning records isn't just for hipsters. As Mary Maloney explained, some companies are targeting a much younger market, toddlers. For music lovers, there's something special about listening to vinyl. Drop the needle on the record, you get the warm pop and crackle, sort of like a fireplace. It's, it's very comforting. And, profi <laughs> and profitable. This year, Deloitte, an audit and consulting firm, expects about 40 million vinyl records to be sold, which comes out to about $900 million in sales. Record players and other accessories brings the business of vinyl to the billion dollar mark which was unthinkable 10 years ago. Companies like Disney and Fisher Price are jumping on the vinyl train and releasing records aimed at kids, like this one from Thomas and Friends called Steam Rattle and Roll Thomas. Similar to reading a book when you're listening to just the record, you're left to your own imagination to really paint the picture. And we saw just these kids immediately become captivated with the rotating record, the speed dials, reversing, things like that, and just having something that they could touch really kind of captivated them right away. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. While vinyl sales are rising, music streaming is still king, and all record sales make up about 6% of all recorded music sales. Well, a favorite album, favorite cover, anything? You? You. Earth, Wind, and Fire, I did like that. Oh, yeah. Nice choice. <laughs>